Hey guys, Dan here, back again. Hard at work in the studio, been uh, building some things lately and uh, wanted to uh, show you my latest work. So, for this one, I ask you, who wants to see me turn this into this? All right, just completed. Wanna see how I did it? Away we go.
right, Dan here, back again. We're getting really close to the final stages of this uh, completed French village home slash maybe storefront slash maybe hotel, any kind of variety of uh, building there. But uh, we're getting to where what I call the icing on the cake, all the little details. Uh, you've seen me build this sucker through time lapse from scratch, uh, from cardboard on up, uh, adding the brick facades here, all this fantastic stuff. We'll move this out of the way, don't need that. And um, so it's just a work in progress. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, see your little shutter? Kept these, didn't uh, glue these down because I wanted to be able to leave it open like that. So, uh, things that I am going to get to next are fun things like good old kids' straws. Turn that into a gutter spout. So over here, have ourselves a gutter spout. Also right here, I think we'll look real sharp. And we've also got uh, right here, possibility, of some lighting scheme, something that might go say like that, or down here, wherever it fits, that works nice. Oh yeah. Uh, another feature, this is what I've seen a lot in these towns, is their uh, electricity cords, uh, telephone lines, whatever it is, their communication lines. And they had this unique kind of situation. They were all throughout, some of them were quite busy and they're just, just stuck out on all parts of the building. But we're gonna incorporate one here, maybe even have some wires dangling down. So you can see some bomb damage on the side there. We're actually gonna illuminate that with the advertising that they would do. So you'll have like a, uh, over here, you got a bakery and you might have a hotel. You might have a something else. Uh, wonderful chimney up here made out of the floral foam and uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish her up. And she's complete. So uh, wanted to give you the final and maybe outline some details here. Everything from the cool signage, the different uh, stucco work to the, the allied uh, white sheet there to, to show the resistance. The bullet holes kicked up on that side. Maybe from some German adversaries. Got uh, telephone wire there, pole. Uh, right in the building here, even if you can look close, you'll see we've got a table set up and a couple glasses of wine for a couple of thirsty GIs on their way to liberate France. Park that guy right there. We also uh, incorporate the side door, put the uh, lamp out on that side there with the power strip going there. I saw that in a couple of street scenes. We got our bombed out section there. So we'll have uh, some stories to tell with this bad boy, huh? I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Real proud, learning as I'm going, and uh, can't wait to apply this knowledge to the next one I build. So stay tuned for more Dan's Daily Diorama. Cheers.